JavaScript has been a pillar in the development world for a long time. Since its release in 1995, we have seen so many tools and technologies built around this programming language. Some of the most well-known examples of this are Node, React, Angular, Express, but the list goes on and on. And for those JavaScript haters out there, please do me the favor of disabling JavaScript on your browser for one day. One day is all I ask because that is all it takes for you to lose your mind trying to use the internet without JavaScript. If you thought that your grandmother's photo albums were boring, wait until you experience this. You can say goodbye to fancy and interactive websites, real-time updates, fast loading, and most video content because all of that requires JavaScript to some degree. On the bright side, you will see fewer ads if you see any at all. Now you may be wondering, Aldo, what's the point of all this? Well the point is that although JavaScript has brought us some amazing and very useful tools, it has also brought along some very questionable and weird but also funny libraries. And that is exactly what we will be talking about today. In this video, I'm going to list out my top 5 weirdest and funniest JavaScript libraries that you probably haven't even heard of. Why wait any longer? Let's get into it. At number 1 we have Fuckit.js. Sorry kids, but don't blame me, I didn't come up with the name. Fuckit.js uses state-of-the-art technology to make sure your JavaScript code runs whether your compiler likes it or not. As the project developers like to say, this is done through a process known as eval, rinse, reload, and repeat. See, this library repeatedly compiles your code and every time it encounters an error, it goes ahead and removes that line from the script. And then it reloads itself after each iteration, allowing the on-error event handler to catch every single error in your terribly written code. Their words, not mine, I promise. The idea behind this library is that when you're having trouble and are stressing the hell out about a piece of your code, you just say fuck it and use this library. Pun intended. It's kind of similar to how I ignore my life problems and leave it for another day. I should probably stop doing that. Anyways, if you need a good laugh, I strongly recommend you read their entire repository readme page because it is hilarious, you can thank me later. And one thing I have to mention for my peace of mind is that this is not intended to be used in production code. It's supposed to be a joke and a reminder of the importance of writing clean and error-free code. So don't complain to me about the enormous dumpster fire going on in your code base if you actually attempt to use this library. At number 2 we have Thanos.js. Now let me just say they couldn't have picked a better name for this library, because similar to the villain in Marvel, this package loves wiping things out. Thanos.js allows developers to reduce the file size of their project down to 50% with a simple command. Which really sounds nice at first, because as we all know, large project files or bloated codebases for that matter can be hard to maintain, have performance issues, and an increased risk of bugs. So who wouldn't want to reduce that file size? But the problem lies in how the library does so. To achieve this result, it will randomly select and delete 50% of your project files. Let's just say Thanos.js has no remorse. Just like Fuckit.js, this library is intended to be a joke and it's supposed to highlight the importance of good source control practices and backups. At number 3 we have Comcastify.js. Just like the others, this library is everything I've dreamed about. It really embodies that song from the 70s called Slow Down and Smell the Roses by Mac Davis. Why? Because the goal of this fantastic tool is to simulate a poor internet connection by adding artificial times to your images. Yup, you heard that right. Sometimes images just load too damn fast, as the project developers like to put it. So why not spend 5 minutes looking at a picture load and really appreciate the moment, you know? The best part about this whole thing is once again, the name. I have to admit, the engineers who are creating these libraries really have a solid imagination. This library's name is a jab at Comcast, which is a notoriously slow internet provider in the United States. And trust me when I tell you that, because I've used them in the past and let's just say I wouldn't need this package to slow down a website, they take care of that for you. Not to sound like a broken record, but I don't want anyone yelling at me, so again, this is just intended to be a joke. The point of this library is to highlight the importance of good user experience in any application. At least that's what I think. At number 4 we have FartScroll.js. This one is probably the most self-explanatory. The premise of this JavaScript library is to make your website fart. <laughs> I'm not kidding, as you scroll, you will keep hearing fart noises. In fact, it's pretty easy to use. All you have to do is insert this line, and then initialize it like so. I do appreciate the fact that you can modify how often the page farts to your personal liking. 
I have to take a second because I, I never thought I would ever say those words. But anyways, this library is clearly intended to have good laughs and in my opinion, I think it's supposed to highlight how important creativity is in web development. Maybe don't use fart noises for your projects or I mean, if you're into that, no judgment here. But I think the thing that we can take away from this is to always look for ways to push the boundaries in all aspects of your work. And last but not least, at number 5 we have Elevator.js. This library challenges every scroll to the top feature that you have used in the past. Rather than providing the smooth jump to the top of the page that you're probably used to, Elevator.js simulates the experience of taking a real life elevator but on a web page. With the click of a button or an elevator icon in this case, you will start a slow ascend to the top of the web page with some classic elevator music playing for the duration of the ride. All in all, this library is pretty fun to use and I recommend checking it out. Just like the others, this library is just for laughs, but similar to FartScroll.js, I do believe it highlights the importance of creativity and user experience as well, no matter how silly it may be. Now, that is all for today, but I do hope this video made you laugh as much as it made me laugh while I was creating it. If you found it interesting, we'd love if you'd hit that like button to show your support. Even better if you leave a comment. What was your favorite library? Would you use any of them for fun? Are there any ridiculous JavaScript libraries out there that I've missed? Let us know in the comments below. Also, let me know if you're interested in seeing a part 2 to this video. Until next time, my friends, and enjoy that beautiful JavaScript running on your browser.